Lord's gospel now we found. That's all I want when Christmas comes to town. That's all I want when Christmas comes to town. We are the sophomore class from State Line Christian School, and we will be performing The Polar Express. On Christmas Eve, many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. I did not rustle the sheets. I breathed slowly and silently. I was listening for a sound. A sound a friend had told me I'd never hear. The ringing bell to Santa's sleigh. There is no Santa. My friend had insisted. But I knew she was wrong. Late that night, I did hear sounds. No, not a ringing bells. From outside came the sounds of hissing seam and squeaking metal. Hissing seam and squeaking metal. Hissing seam and squeaking metal. I looked through my window and saw a train standing perfectly still in front of my house. In front of my house. It was wrapped in an apron of steam. Snowflakes fell lightly around it. A conductor stood at the open door of one of the cars. He took a large pocket watch from his vest, then looked up at my window. I put on my slippers and robe. I tiptoed down the stairs and went out the door. All aboard! The conductor cried out. I ran up to him. Well, are you coming? Where? Why, to the North Pole, of course. This is the Polar Express. I took his outstretched hand and he pulled me aboard. The train was filled with other children, all in their pajamas and nightgowns. We sang Christmas carols and in candies with nougat centers, as white as snow. We drank hot cocoa, sick and rich, and melted chocolate bars. Outside, the lights of towns and villages flickered in the distance. As the Polar Express raced northward to the magical land of the North Pole. The North Pole. It was a huge city standing alone at the top of the world. Christmas toy was made. At first, we saw no elves. They are gathering together at the center of the city. The, the conductor, conductor told us. That is where Santa will give the first gift of Christmas. Who receives the first gift? He will choose one of you. As our train drew closer to the center of the North Pole, we slowed to a crawl. So crowded were the streets with Santa's helpers. When the Polar Express could go no further, we stopped and the conductor led us outside. We pressed through the crowd to the edge of a large open circle. In front of us stood Santa's sleigh! Our reindeer were excited. They pranced and pranced. Ringing the silver sleigh bells that hung from their harnesses. It was a magical sound like nothing I'd ever heard. Across the circle, the elves moved apart. And Santa Claus appeared! The elves cheered wild, cheered wild, cheered wild. He marched over to us and pointed to me said, Let's have this fellow here. He jumped into his sleigh. The conductor handed me up. I sat on Santa's knee and he asked, Now, what would you like for Christmas? I knew that I could have any gift that I could imagine. But the thing I wanted most for Christmas was not inside Santa's giant bag. What I wanted more than anything was one silver bell from Santa's sleigh. When I asked, Santa smiled. Then he gave me a hug and told an elf to cut a bell from a reindeer's harness. The elf tossed it up to Santa. He stood holding the bell high above him and called out The first gift of Christmas. A clock struck, struck midnight. Long gone. As, As the elves roared, roared their approval, Santa handed the bell to me and I put it in my bathroom pocket. The conductor held me down from the sleigh. Santa shouted out the reindeer's name. On Dutch, on Dancer, on Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitz. He cracked his whip. His steam charged forward and climbed into the air. Santa circled once above us, then disappeared in the cold, dark, polar sky. As soon as we were back inside the Polar Express, the other children asked to see the bell. Uh, when I reached, reached into my pocket, but the only thing I saw was, was a hole. I had lost the silver bell from Santa's sleigh. Let's hurry outside and look for it. But, but the, the train started lurch and, and started moving. We were on our way home. It broke my heart to lose the bell. When the train reached my house, I sadly left the other children. I stood at the doorway and waved goodbye. Goodbye. The conductor leaned his head out of the moving train. He cupped his hands around his mouth and yelled, Merry Christmas! The Polar Express got a loud blast from its whistle and sped away. 
On Christmas morning, my little sister Sarah and I opened all of our presents. When it looked as if every gift had been unwrapped, Sarah found one last small box behind the tree. It had my name on it. Do Charlie from South. Inside was a silver bell! There was a note. Found this on the seat of my sled. Fix that hole in your pocket. Signed, Miss Christie. I shook the bell. It made the most beautiful sound my sister and I had ever heard. But my mother said, Oh, that's too bad. Yes, said my father. It's broken. When I'd shaken the bell, my parents had not heard a sound. At one time, most of my friends could hear the bell. But as years passed, it fell silent for all. Silent for all. Even Sarah found one Christmas that she could no longer hear the bell's sweet sound. Though I've grown old, the bell still rings for me, as it does for all who truly believe. That's all I want when Christmas comes to town.